Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. How do you feel just where you are right now? Uh, you know, like I said last year, you know, we had a team meeting and it was brought up some things that I could do better, especially like with buying into the program. And right now it's tough right now, but like I said, right now I'm taking a little back seat right now and I'm, uh, I'm trusting the process. I'm trying my best to buy in right now. Stop the cap. Zion, stop the cap. You ain't buying the, to a goddamn thing. You ain't buying into anything the team's offering right now. Let's be real. You do not want to be on the team. Just admit it. You're trying your best to stay on the team. You're trying your best to give give something to the team because I sh actually last year, I know how much derailed you were from last year. I know. Injuries really derailed you, and we know I'm going to get into a lot in, into that. And why? You want to be on another team. I'm going to explain what team you want to be on. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. Yeah. This video is about Zion. It's not going to be really about the Pelicans because, let's be honest, the Pelicans, right now, as a team, don't look at the record. They're a disappointment. They're a disappointment. Here's why. Injuries. Yeah, CJ McCollum, you know, out for if, hopefully he gets better. I hope it's like a collapse long. Brandon Ingram, he's been on and off. He's been hoping, but at the same time, it's not like, not leading to anything. It's not leading to really W. It's not let, really gaining any momentum for this team. You got this young guard named Jordan Hawkins who's been hooping for them. You lost Jack, Jackson Hayes to the Lakers. And Zion got injured the half point of Mark of last year. And that really derailed him. It really did. But when he first got drafted, we know what team Zion wanted to be on. It's the New York Knicks. He always wanted to be in the garden. He wanted to be in New York. But he was obviously buying into this team. He was obviously wanting to give it to his awesome team. When he first got into the league, he's putting up numbers. He's unstoppable. I wanted to see the Zion book back when he was in high school. That Zion. The Zion that, other than with Victor Wembyama, everybody was calling Zion the phenom. Calling him the next LeBron James. His athleticism was the best athleticism we ever seen since LeBron. His willing to block shots at a high level. We had his reach all the way up here. Yeah, we I remember those kind of highlights from back in the day with Zion. Zion's, you got to check out his, his high school mistake. One of the best high school mistakes you will ever see. That's how great Zion Williams is. When he got into the league, obviously he got a little overweight. He was already stocky a little bit coming out of high school and college when he when he went to Duke. And obviously, when he was at Duke, he performed at a high level. Now, when he got drafted, came out a little bigger, right? Still putting up some numbers, still being dominant. At one point, he averaged around 27 points, 10 rebounds. He's dominant. At one point, he was going to be an all-star in his rookie year or his second year. I believe he made the All-Star team his second year or his third year in the league. One or two. But now that we get to this point, we remember what happened last year. Zion had a huge injury that set him back. And the real story was Zion wanted to come back, but the GM held him back. The team held him back. They didn't. They don't want to take a risk on his injury, and and, and that's led to the Pelicans being a play-in team. If he would have came back, they wouldn't. They would have been easily in the playoffs, but they led to a play-in team versus the OKC Thunder, the young OKC Thunder team led by a All NBA player in Shea Gillis Alexander, who was dominant that game, and ended up being them. Zion was very upset. Very upset. You can, you can see the his demeanor on the on the bench when they have big time games 
and Zion was out there, it looked like he wasn't really for this team. It looked like he was not really cheering for the team or nothing. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. He's, he he wants to be there for the team. He wants to cheer for the team. But now that we heard that interview, he don't want to be there. He don't want to be there. He wants to be in New York. Straight up. Really, he wants to be anywhere else but, but New Orleans right now. Because, obviously, he's trying to stay in shape, too. But it's hard to stay in shape in New Orleans. Let's be honest. They got some really good, good food. They got some amazing seafood out there. He probably eating all that gumbo out there. All that all the crab, them crab legs, crawfish. I mean, you can name it. Tilapia, shrimp, all that out there. Probably eating all that. And then some. And then we had the allegations a couple of months ago with the baby mama and the stripper. So Zion has a lot on his plate. And so I believe all of this is really distracting him. And that's why he's not really playing to his full potential on his team. Especially this year. Especially this year. I'm seeing, I'm watching the games from the Pelicans, especially the last game when they played the Dallas Mavericks. Yes, it was a back to back. I knew Dallas was going to lose that game, but they got blown out, right? Dallas got blown out. And the Pelicans really performed that game. Zion didn't really, he looked like he didn't really want to be out there. Let's be honest. I mean, he was last of days ago driven the ball court like this. I mean, he was last of days ago. If you really watch that game, Zion did not want to play. He really didn't. He could have easily dropped 30 plus that game. Easily. He had one big time highlight when he got the ball in the fast break and did a windmill, or, uh, like one foot in the rim, in front of the rim. But other than that, He's just trying to, he's just trying to, I guess, fit in. And at this point, he's tired of it. He wants to be out. But he's not going to, he's, he's not going to make that, you know, announcement because he wants to, he still wants to stay a professional. And he knows New Orleans don't want to trade him. But, Zion, if you don't feel happy, bro, hey, in this day and age, in this generation of the league, it's the best time to opt out. You see what James Harden is doing. I mean, James Harden can get anything he wants to. You see what Ben Simmons did. You see what Kyrie did. Hey, Zion, we know what type of player you are. I seen you in college. I seen you in high school. You can be one of the best players in the NBA. Forget that ESPN ranking. One of the worst records. I, I, actually, the worst ranking I've ever seen in my life. You're not a 57 best player in the, in the league. You're not. You're at least top 25 thir or top 30. That's a really good player you are. If you really put your mind to it, you can be top 15. You just need to be on the right team. Obviously, unfortunately, this situation is not the best for you. It's obvious. You don't want to be there. Too many injuries, too many setbacks. If you can stay healthy, you should request a trade. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed the video, give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Catch y'all in the next video. I'll be supporting your boy, your boy Will, and I'm out.